and J for Joe. J is the first letter of my dead grandfather's name. I could pin a J to my office door, but what of it? Why only a single letter memorial? Instead, I could stick a J from the far corner, let it rise like a blue J from a branch, as I cry Joseph, which is the name for another father. The priests let the incense hover, like the smoke from a J, the one my boy Paul lit at a party in Lowell the night we got arrested and ended up in a Lawrence cell, and Manny bent over crying for everything we never told. J as in Jam Master jamming on the cassette in my 72 Chevelle through the black last night. J is the first letter of Jehovah, of Johnstown, PA, where the flood waters rose high as Noah, where my friend A jogs at night to jettison the juju, her last lover carved into her spine. J as in Jersey, the small bodega where Joe and I woofed red fish and rice after teaching 10th graders. We sat out in the Spanish night smoking menthols as 15-year-old girls pushed strollers, chatting in El Salvadorian accents. The street of saffron and sofrito, soccer balls and sequined letter chains, not saying anything except listen with our eyes. As the city turned blue and the street lights turned yellow and some girl hollered out a window, hey, Jay, Jay, Jay. How her voice hung in the air as if it was tattooed, as if it was burned inside her.